it's Jen from Lightcarded. So today I'm gonna to show you guys how to make these tassels. It is a super simple craft to do, and tassels are really trending right now. You'll see them on stuff like jewelry and home decor pieces, like on pillow trims or on bedspreads. So it's a super easy thing, so let me show you how to do it. All right, so to get started, you're only gonna need a couple of things. You're gonna need some of this yarn. You guys know at the craft store it comes in, I think, a million different colors. A little piece of cardboard and scissors. So to get started, all you're gonna do is pull out one of the ends and you're gonna lay it on your cardboard piece. And the thing about the cardboard piece is the length of the cardboard is gonna be how long your tassel is. So if you want a shorter tassel, you're gonna do a shorter piece of cardboard. If you want a longer tassel, you're gonna do a longer piece of cardboard. So I'm just gonna um, kind of fold over one end onto the cardboard. And I'm gonna take my string, and I'm actually gonna keep the paper on the string because it's gonna uh, get, uh, it won't get tangled for you while you're trying to wrap. So I'm gonna pull a little bit out, and then all you're gonna do is start wrapping around the cardboard. So the thickness or the fullness of your tassel depends on obviously how much string you use. So if you want um, not as one that's as full, then maybe you can stop at this point. If you wanna keep going and use the whole string, you absolutely can. I think for, for this length and size of tassel, I think I'm probably gonna use most of the string. If not, I think I'm gonna use all. I finished um, wrapping the string around my cardboard. And then what you're gonna need is about a foot of string left over. So what you're gonna do is where your end is, where the end of your tassels are going to eventually be, you're gonna cut the string off. So now you're gonna cut about a three piece inch of yarn. Really though, it depends on what you want the usage for your tassel to be. So maybe you need something a little bit longer depending if it's hanging. Um, from a curtain or if you want to have it something a little bit shorter because maybe you're using it for a piece of jewelry. So for this purpose I'm kind of just going to use a general a general one. Um, so I'm going to do about three inches. Then what you're going to do is not the end that you have the, the open end here. You're going to take the other end and you're going to thread this underneath. So then I'm just going to tie it into a knot. All right, so this knot is going to be the top of your tassel. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna slide your tassel off your cardboard. So then you've got this kind of loop um, circle of string. Then what you're gonna do is take the string that you have left over, and you're gonna tie it towards the top here. Just make a little knot. And this is going to start to form the head of your tassel. So we're just going to do a couple of knots here. I'm going to take the longer end and I'm going to wrap it around. You can start from the top and kind of work your way down. And then with a little bit that's left, I'm going to use the other remaining end and I'm going to tie it off. And you're just gonna trim this off. All right, so then you're gonna take your tassel, or soon to be tassel, and kind of find the middle so that you have all of your, the string. And then we're just going to cut the string in half so that you can create your tassel. And then, depending on what you want to do, you can trim stuff up if needed. The great thing about the tassels is that they have a variety of uses. So when I was actually making this one, I included a key ring 
for it, so it kind of makes it decor. I might add like one more on here, maybe make it a little bit smaller and a different color for a little bit for it. Or you do the traditional one that we did, and this can be sewn onto, maybe it's a pillowcase or a bedspread. I've seen a table runner. It's kind of why I think I originally made these, was I'm thinking about making a table runner, and it'll be the trim on the end. So lots of variety of uses for this craft. So I hope you guys enjoy this, and if you wanna see more DIY crafts and tutorials, make sure you subscribe to the channel and follow me on iandlikehearted.com.